La Perm Cat vs. Selkirk Rex Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? La Perm's outstanding feature, of course, is his coat, which has loose, bouncy curls, making it light and airy to the touch. Tighter, longer curls surround the neck, forming a ruff and clustering at the base of the ears. The whiskers are also long and curly. The coat comes in two lengths, short and long, and any color or pattern. Tabbies, tortoise shells, and red cats are most common. Long-haired La Perms have a plume tail. The coat's length and fullness may vary seasonally. It sometimes parts naturally down the middle of the back. The short-haired La Perm does not necessarily have a ruff, ringlets, or earmuffs, and the texture of the coat may be harder than that of the long-haired La Perm. He has a tail with fur that looks wavy, more like a bottle brush than a plume. The short coat may also part down the middle of the back. Kittens may be born hairless, with straight hair, or with curly hair. Both long-haired and short-haired kittens can be born in the same litter. The La Perm's head is a modified wedge shape, meaning it is slightly rounded. The medium size to large ears are slightly flared. Long-haired La Perms have full furnishings and a covering of fur on and around the outer ears that resemble earmuffs. Expressive eyes can be any color. Imagine a medium size to large cat with a heavy bone but muscular body, a rounded head, and a soft, woolly coat of loose curls that can be short or long in any of a multitude of colors. That's the Selkirk Rex. Kittens come out curly, go through a straight stage during adolescence, then mature into plush, dense clumps of curls when they are about two years old. Selkirk's facial characteristics include full cheeks, males are downright jowly, broad-based medium-sized ears, sometimes with curly furnishings and large rounded eyes that give a sweet expression. The difference in coat length may not be immediately obvious without first observing the ruff and tail. Short hairs have a ruff that is the same length as the fur on the rest of the body and plush curls on the tail that lies compactly. A long-haired Selkirk has a longer ruff that frames the face and plumy curls on the tail that stand out rather than lying demurely in place. With either length, the coat may appear most curly around the neck and on the belly and tail. The coat comes in any genetically possible color or combination of colors. If it's possible for a cat to be purple polka dotted, you will find a Selkirk in that pattern. The eyes, too, can be any color. The clever La Perm has a sense of humor. Often described as clownish, he is something of a mischief maker who makes talented use of his paws to open doors, swipe things he wants or tap you on the shoulder for attention. He's not clingy, but he likes to be with you and will follow you around, sit on your shoulder or the top of your computer, or sit in your lap, whichever option is most convenient for him. He is moderately active and enjoys retrieving items that are thrown at him. Despite his reputation for getting into things, the La Perm is pleasant to live with. He rarely uses his voice, and he is affectionate, gentle, and patient with his people. Most are also welcoming to visitors as long as they were well socialized as kittens. Selkirk is the relaxed Rex. His Persian and British short hair ancestors give him a placid, cuddly nature, but he is more active than those breeds and likes to play. People who live with him describe him as sweet and endearing, with a bit of a silly streak. Tolerant and affectionate, the Selkirk is not always a lap cat, but he likes people and other animals. With his sociable nature, he dislikes being left alone for long periods. Keep this fun-loving cat entertained with a fishing pole toy or flashlight beam, and he will be thrilled. Ignore him at your peril. He won't hesitate to demand attention in a small, quiet voice if he feels that he's not getting his due. Hello! This video is sponsored by Beamix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out beamixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. La Perm's unusual coat is easy to care for and usually doesn't mat or tangle if it is combed or brushed one to three times a week. Longer coats should be groomed more frequently. Use a comb with revolving teeth for best results. It will go through the coat easily without straightening the curls. To keep the cat looking as curly best, mist the coat with a little water or fluff it with damp hands to set the curls. The coat sheds little, and shedding is further reduced with regular brushing. If small mats develop, Brush them out gently with a slicker brush or greyhound comb, stainless steel with narrow teeth at one end and wider teeth at the other end. If you give the La Perm a bath, press a towel against the coat to soak up moisture and then let him air dry in a warm, draft-free spot. Using a blow dryer will give him a bad case of frizzies. Selkirk Rex has a dense coat that should be combed a couple of times a week to prevent or remove tangles. Selkirks do shed, so regular combing also removes dead hair that would otherwise end up on your clothing or furniture or hacked up as hairballs. Gently running your fingers through his coat will help fluff up the curls, just about the easiest styling you can do. A bath is rarely necessary, but if your Selkirk gets dirty, 
Use a moisturizing shampoo and let him air dry for a few hours in a warm, draft-free place. Using a blow dryer will give him an appearance more like that of a poodle. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes daily with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, they are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a la perm and Selkirk Rex as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. La perm and Selkirk Rex who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such an unusual cat without paying for it. Cats are obligate carnivores, meaning they eat almost exclusively meat. Their diet should consist of no more than 5% carbohydrates and most of their protein should come from an animal source. It's hard to accomplish this nutritional requirement by providing only dry food as most commercially available dry food contains a lot of carbohydrates, fillers, plant protein, and other ingredients that are not natural for a cat to eat. Another important consideration is your cat's water intake. Cats in the wild get most of their hydration from their diet, not by actually drinking water as most people think. Canned cat food is about 70 to 80% water, while dry food is only about 10% water. Although you can make up some of the water lost by providing a bowl or fountain of water, it's still not usually enough to cover the difference. If your cat is healthy and doesn't have special dietary requirements, then mainly wet food with dry food being supplementary and raw food being optional will likely be fine. Unless your cat has an exceptional ability to self-regulate its eating, it's not a good idea to leave out unlimited food all day, especially dry food. It's okay to leave dry or wet food out all day if you use measured portions that make sense for your cat's weight and activity level. The easygoing but playful La Perm and the gentle but social Selkirk Rex are well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They can learn tricks, enjoys interactive toys, and loves the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet them. Always introduce any pets, even other cats slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.